I'm Ethan. Um, I just graduated at Point Loma University um, with the honors program that was uh, mentored by Lael Corbin. Um, this is made in China, uh, which every time I look at it, it turns out to be really different than the last time because I keep adding toys to it. The uh, original idea came out of this kind of last resort where um, I was a pack rat for a few years, so I just collected a lot of Happy Meal toys and um, put them all together to try and see if that could become anything interesting. And then it turned out to be more about the process than the final piece. I think I've always been interested more in process art and um, performative elements rather than like how the thing looks out at the end. And it was a lot about how all these little kitschy objects that bring kids entertainment for maybe like five minutes, like the kind of toys that you'd enjoy for a few seconds, then lose in the room, and then they just pile up somewhere in the corner of your house, and some kind of um, temporary happiness, and then that contrasting with the fact that these materials are all plastics that are gonna long outlive us. And that kind of came out of just the attraction of object fetish and kitsch and um, plastic culture, which I associate a lot with Southern California culture and everything that has to do with Hollywood and um, LA's big pornography scene and Disneyland and everything that's just kind of plastic cookie cutter kitsch that, um, that I really attached to when I moved to California a few years ago. And um, I kind of clinged on to plastic culture as soon as I moved to California to try and attach myself to something. And um, it also ends up just rooting back to how China creates a lot of the things that we consume on a daily basis that we don't pay attention to. And that was just kind of personally important for me um, as somebody who's Chinese and living in the US. Um, so the piece was um, maybe about the size of like a human head in my studio. And back then it was easier to just tie things to each other. but. Since I've had, I think, around 250 toys, I think I switched to individually stringing them and putting them up to the screw. So everything has their own individual string and there's about a thousand strands just circled around that one screw.